Local Ukrainian Americans are expressing fear over the plane crash in their home country today. And News Channel 5's Kristen Volk, you got a chance to talk to some of them tonight. What is their main concern? Well, Danita, they're worried that the crash would only escalate tensions between Russia and Ukraine, tensions that could lead to more violence. We still don't know who shot down the Malaysian Airlines plane, but the people I spoke to tonight have their suspicions. It was news that sent shockwaves around the world. Another Malaysian Airlines plane goes down today with 298 people on board. This time, it was in Ukraine. It was news that really hit Dr. Vladimir Pastuk hard. It was uh, uh, quite honestly shocking for, for a few seconds. Uh, never could think about it, that uh, something like that could happen. This Pepper Pike dentist just returned two weeks ago from Ukraine, where he grew up. He flew through Amsterdam to get there, the same city where Flight 17 left from today. The similarities spooked him, and the reason behind the crash scares him even more. Escalation is happening right now. Very possibly in next week could be even worse. There is already fighting between pro-Russian rebels and Ukrainian troops in the eastern part of Ukraine, the same place where the plane went down. Now that Ukrainians suspect Russia is behind this latest incident, they fear an all-out war. Everybody, the whole Ukrainian community was, uh, you know, outrageous, outrageous today. And they were saddened, too. The local Ukrainian community came together in Parma this evening to pray for the victims of Flight 17. Andrey Voyetsky was among the group. The Parma resident grew up in Ukraine, and he's now a pilot. I hope for the international community this will be a wake-up call. Enough is enough. Enough, enough civilians have died. It is still unknown who shot down that plane, but both men hope this incident sheds light on the violence in a country they love so much. Violence that has taken the lives of more than 400 people in the last few months. Danita? Our country.